gonna say something? Hi. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in the middle of packing. Um, we are leaving today for a family vacation to Palm Springs. Lincoln is on a break right now from his Zoom class. And Laya and her father have gone to go drop off our, scot our dog scotch at Rover, which is the dog hotel in Culver City. Okay, so my secret hack to packing and looking fabulous when you go on a trip is to pack in the same color scheme. Then you have this array of accessories that are basically all coordinated and you can kind of match yourself up and look great even though you're away from home and you don't have everything that you normally would have. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome back. Heartbreak, we're on the freeway. It is after hours or well not totally after hours but getting there it's like four o'clock which is kind of like the after work traffic especially during the holiday season but we are on our way down to palm springs to jw marriott shadow ridge resort for a little trip so say what's up people party people in the back hey <laughs> yeah we've had a a full day today so we had a full day of actual learning but also running errands dropping off scotch at the doggy hotel and yada 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 but it's all kind of culminated to this moment we are on our way down and i am excited because we are going to go to walmart and it is my annual shopping trip at walmart so once a year i go to walmart and that is either not enough or one time too many i don't know judge me how you want to judge me <laughs> but we always go to the walmart in palm springs when we're out there and i am excited about it who else is excited about the walmart run whoop, 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 whoop. so it is kind of a free-for-all i'll show you guys what that looks like when we get down there and this is kicking off the trip i think that at walmart we should have a um, challenge and i'll buy whatever you can carry under a certain amount of dollars I'll buy whatever so like, you're going like, to the study and you bring it. No, 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 no. Like no. It has to be, like it has to be under a million dollars. No, I say whatever you can either balance on your head. I can't balance my head. Well, listen, then you can't get I can't balance my hair. Listen, <laughs> bring it. I am very buy, African. Listen, I am very you can African. Balance on your head. How about I can put a table on my head. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Whatever you can balance on your head, carry through to the checkout while being tickled, hopping <laughs> on one leg. I got you. I got you. Throw oh it in the bag. Oh my I God. Throw you. it in the bag. That's my slogan. That's slogan. Throw it in the bag. My oh, yeah, that's child after my own heart. We have another family of five that we're really close to that we vacation with in Palm Springs each year and we just met them down there and went straight into dinner. So we are here in Palm Springs. We still have class going on today. So the kids are doing a good job, pretty good job with the distance learning, trying to stay focused. After uh, distance learning school is over, we are probably gonna try to find something to do. We'll probably have our Walmart micro shopping spree. Uh, the dads have gone to play golf, so they are definitely living their best lives, and the moms will figure out what we're gonna do with ourselves as well. All right, so I just heard that the guys, oh yeah, there they are, on the green, enjoying themselves out there. Hello. <laughs> yeah. So we have five kids between us and we had so many different kinds of learning situations going on. Laya's obviously in her homeschool hybrid. It was a homeschool day for her. Lincoln is doing distance learning in a public school and their kids are in private school, also in different grades. So we had children getting done with their work at different points during the day. So we all just um, kind of went outside to play and as children got done, they folded into what was going on. And that was until the guys uh, set up their cornhole game, which they take very seriously. We've been doing this trip together uh, with our two families for about four or five years now, and cornhole is always a focal point of competition for the guys ongoing. 
Laughing at you. They're laughing that's at basically, you. Like you call this win? That's basically five mommies. That's basically five mommies. 27 feet. Because you would add six plus six to equal 12. So then you did two times that. So then you would have two times. But how many, two, how many sixes is that? That's four. Right. So then you would add another six. And then to make 27, you would just have to add it and then subtract it. Right, right. So I think, yeah, I think it might be a closer. Because it's 27 feet, so then you would have to take away three from the six and, and add it to the two twelves and then add all those together. So then it would be 27 feet. I'm like hashtag common core math. Let me take this off. Let me take this off. Let me show you what's up. Let me show you what's up. I have been training for the last four months. These cornhole muscles, the huh? That little huh? Have not. Have not. You're gonna get cornhole square. When you do this, what is that's a foul? What is that like a behind? Wait, is that 50%? That's the edges. I don't know. Full edges. The amount of sand. No. Uh. <laughs> Who's ready for Walmart? When we got to Walmart, we definitely spent the first several minutes trying to strategize and game plan. I think Kofi and actually Steven too were really concerned about us getting out of control. <laughs> So we're, we're being told that we have to be seated at the restaurant at 7.30. What time is it? All right, listen. All right, okay. Listen, listen, guys. We're gonna have a strategy in the game plan here. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. At least this year we're two days in. So we only need, what do we have left? We have Friday, Saturday. We're not two days in? What are you talking about? It's the second day. It's the second day. We have Friday, Saturday. Sunday. 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 What is he talking about? We're having dinner out tonight. So dinner out tonight. To and we still have a few breakfast foods left. We need to supplement, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Right? So we need lunch again. The we need uh, uh, so we only need two dinners. We have, we're starting on the snacks already. We need to get the and we also, we also need whatever you want. Wow. <laughs> well, you have your budget. The dollar. What's your budget? What's your dollar? No, our budget is fifty dollars. You got $50. outvoted. <laughs> okay. Well, whoever outvoted is at least thirty people that have COVID in this. <laughs> yes. Look around. Is sure. at least forty people that have COVID. See that guy right there? See that guy right there? He's got it. He's got it. Don't look mad. 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 Right there. Don't look him in the eye. Look him in the eye. He's got it. That guy. He's got it. Just watch out. All right, guys. Hi, guys. Bring it in. Bring it in. Walmart on three. On three, Walmart. One, two, three. Walmart. At Walmart, our biggest uh, expense was food, obviously, but we also found some pajamas and a couple of like toys and things for the kids to play with. So, it, all in all, it was a successful trip. All right, thankfully our daughters encourage us to run back and get some matching pajamas. Careful guys, careful. So we found some really cute matching pajamas, but we wanted to get these ones that said, oh, what fun. Uh-huh. Because we thought it would be like good smack talking for the card game. Oh. oh, what fun. But they didn't have an our size, but there was another lady there, a little bit older lady. Uh -huh. And then she was like talking to us about playing cards and oh, what fun. And then she decided she loved it. 
but she's getting some other pajamas but she's like but i'm not sure if i can afford it she's like but you guys talked me into it so she got it so then i just had to give her the money to just buy it for her for christmas i was like it's a christmas present from us oh what fun hopefully she'll always remember us so i was like i would really be done now because if your dad knows not only did we go back to get other pajamas now we're actually buying strangers <laughs> Of course the guys like to give us a hard time. We just don't have access to a Walmart close to us where we live. So it is a little bit of a free for all experience, but mostly it's just food and it's more economical to be making food and safer in the COVID circumstances at home. That evening, however, we did go to eat out barbecue. I think it was the last night that we could eat out before the COVID restrictions were enacted. Uh, and we had some really great barbecue. Lucky for us, it's pretty much the last night of dining out. We're gonna make it. So this was the kickoff to our really fun trip to Palm Springs. Um, I can't wait to show you guys in my next Vlogmas video what we did on the rest of the trip. Um, thanks so much for watching.